gonna say, um, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> And Misha going to say, oh, you can hear us, bitch. Bitch, you can hear us. I said, girl, ooh, I, I knew goddamn well I couldn't do this shit. Like, I could not do this shit because I been and went over there, yanked that bitch by that red piece of coffee that she got on her fucking head. Girl, and drug this bitch until the day is long, girl. Hell no, bitch. Who the fuck you think you do? Oh, bitch, you can hear us over there. And they going to sit up there. And they was like, what? Are you serious? So they started laughing. So Kelly started laughing. So then Misha going to say, if I hear somebody giggle one more time, I'm coming over there. Like she's somebody fucking mother, bitch. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I said, oh, wow. Hey, everybody. It's your girl, Sassy Shantice. I'm coming back with another video. Yes, honey. Back with another one, girl. Y'all, did y'all see this episode eight of Encore? It was better than normal. But, yeah, it, I still wasn't feeling it. Um, People left that I wasn't expecting. You know what I mean? But let's just get into it, y'all. So the twins and Keely are sitting outside, y'all. And um, Felicia goes, um, oh, my God. Like, do you think that we're running people off to about her and her sister? Bitch, uh, you think? Like, yeah, you know, just your whole attitude. Like, the way you come at people. Kelly gonna say, no, well, not on purpose. And I was just like, wow. Kelly is always taking up for somebody, always in the shits with everything. So, I wasn't surprised of her comment. But, you know, I guess it was neutral as far as trying to be neutral to her friends. You know what I mean? But she know they some shit solid. And she know that it's because of their ass, you know? So, Felicia's, like, making up excuses for her and filing of why Nivea left. You know, she's like, well, we didn't do anything wrong and you know Nivea was already on edge you know and she she gonna regret this you know she gonna regret the fact that she left like what don't y'all get like y'all doing too much and you need to just shut the fuck up and help everybody the way y'all been helping and produce you know what I'm saying but all this attitude and bossiness is just too much and I was just not full of the shits with Kaylee when she was like yeah you know it was just a mistake it was a mistake what was a mistake are you talking about the fact that um Fallon and Felicia um did too much and Nivea ended up leaving because what is a mistake you like I don't understand what she meant by that it just made me rethink like how I used to be with my kids you know my sons when they was little you know when they did something at school and then you be taking up for them and all the shit oh it was a mistake to the teacher or everything and you come out looking stupid girl you know what I'm saying I mean maybe it's just me but that's the shit that I used to do girl um, anyway, moving on. <laughs> but yeah, she was like, it's just a mistake. And I was just like, it's not really a mistake. Like, what? whatever, girl, moving on. So, Kaylee is in the confessional with Fallon and Felicia. Of course, she's in the middle again, looking crazy. But that's my girl. I like Kaylee. I don't know, for some reason, I kind of like her. Um, but she's in the confessional and... Felicia's just saying, you know, she's really going to miss Nivea and she wish she wouldn't have left. Felicia's just saying, you know, how she's a fun light in the group. You know, she's herself. You know, Nivea's just like a fun, nice person. The same thing I've been saying, the same reason why I fuck with Nivea myself. And I think that Felicia was really genuine in saying, you know, that she didn't want Nivea to leave because Nivea was like a cash cow to the group. Nivea was on most of the track and Nivea sounds really good, you know, as, as far as everybody there, you know, Nivea's the one that sounded good and she could dance a little bit so i think that nivia is definitely going to be missed but i did see at the end and i was going to mention this at the end but i'm not going i'm going to go ahead at the end it showed her on zoom so somebody or skype something like that so somebody did ended up um bringing nivia on the show as far as zoom or skype so i don't know if she's coming back that would be a lot of fun i really hope so but we don't know we just have to see for the next episode so right now y'all it's like five days into the show um, it's seven girls left, so everybody's there except for Nivea and Aubrey. So, yeah, that's what's going on right now, girl. In her confessional, and she's talking about how, you know, it's sad that Nivea left because she basically was defending her and Iris, you know? And I was really pissed off at this point. I don't know if y'all thought about me at this part, but I was just saying to myself, like, damn, if, if Misha and Iris was never there, Nivea would still be there, you know what I mean? But on the, at the same time... Felicia and Fallon could have backed up off of Misha when they kept going on and on and on about it in the studio. And Nivea was trying to make them stop. Like, she was literally holding uh, Misha back from trying to get to Felicia and Fallon because they kept on saying stuff. Oh, your blood pressure. You need to calm down because your blood pressure. You know, you're the weakest link. So, all of that stuff, like, they could have calmed the situation down too. And they just wouldn't stop, you know? So, it's partly... 
um, Misha's fault because she's there and she shouldn't have been there. Like, Carlos King, what is the problem? Like, why did you even invite? Like, I mean, I understand it's 702 because I was really psyched to see 702. But at the end of the day, you didn't have any, like, auditions to see if a bitch could really sing. Like, because back then, some, sometimes, even now, they got girls who sing and they solo artists. They don't have too many girl groups now. But they solo artists and these bitches can't sing just because they're young and they have young sounding and pretty voices. That doesn't mean they can sing. So just going back to back then, why didn't you at least see if these ladies could still sing? Because this is causing a lot of friction in the house. And if you would have known that they couldn't sing, they were this bad at singing. Like, that's putting a lot of pressure on Felicia, probably co-signing other people to be mixing down stuff. And this is singing. This is not dancing. And I wish people stopped saying that, oh, everybody, you know, can put something into the group. Everybody deserves. No, they don't. Like, Jake, what makes, I mean, because you was an icon, like, why does that make you, why does that make it mandatory that it be okay that you come into some shit that you don't know what the fuck you doing? Like, I just don't understand that. And if somebody can drop down in the comments and let me know, because, and you know, and you can be, like, I, I can be kind of boisterous when somebody come at me, you know, fuck up. So don't come at me fucked up in the comments, you know, if you don't want me to come back fucked up to you, because it's already happened. You know what I'm saying? And I already told my husband I wasn't going to entertain shit like that no more because I do have an opinion but if you could let me know you know why would people keep saying like oh everybody can bring something to the group and you know they do deserve to be heard like what do you deserve to be heard what do you what do you bring to the group like you can't even sing all day you can't sing you can't dance. like you can't do either one so I'm still not understanding why is everybody being so nice and, and tiptoeing around Misha and I, it doesn't make sense and on top of that y'all bitches should have been left you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real, you shouldn't even fucking be there because you can't sing and you can't dance. So you can't really contribute nothing to the group. Then you're not even contributing nothing as far as writing. When somebody told you to write something again, Misha, you went up saying something about you didn't feel good, you was feeling nauseated, and you never wrote the song. So damn, you can't sing, you can't dance, and you don't want to write? Like, what are you good for? Because you're not even good to look and you look disgusting. And I'm just tired of the whole thing with people tiptoeing, even people that I listen to on um, YouTube, people that I like, you know, they tiptoeing around these bitches like they are owed something. You know, I understand that you're an icon and everything, and you had you was in 702, but at this point, what do you have to give? Like, nobody wants to hear that. But at the end of the day, let me stop going on a rant because I always go on a rant about Misha and Irish, and I'm so sick of doing it, but if it was me, y'all, call me bullying, call me me, and everything else, Felicia and Fallon, I think they've been doing a great job as far as producing, as far as managing um, who needs to sing what, as far as making sure, you know, people's voices are sounding good, writing them. They wrote five songs out of seven. You know what I'm saying? And now y'all even arguing with Cosign because y'all even think that um, Felicia's version sound better than his. So these bitches have been working their ass off. And at the end of the day, like, I just think that Misha and Ivan should have been that bitch out. Bye, sign. No, i like, what they say, sign? Bye, bitch. You should have been left. So, yeah, I really wish they would have left before Nivea went off. And maybe we'll say we'll have Nivea, girl. Okay, honey? But that's not the case because my girl is gone because she was taken up with some bullshit. So, Misha's in her confession. She said, it's sad that Nivea left because she was defending me and Irish and that she was tired of the disrespect, too. And it was to the point she couldn't deal with it anymore. Right, okay, well, maybe you had to be there. You know what I'm saying? To see that how, how these bitches treat each other. Well, how they treat um, the rest of the girls, the twins treat the rest of the girls, and how it went. But I'm just going on what I see. And what I see is that two people can't sing and they keep on barking that they need more parts. And it, like, what the fuck? So y'all, Misha looks dead in the cam and goes, Phineas and Ferb can kiss my ass. You know, and I'm just like, what, bitch? What, like, are you still going on or still trying to provoke fights? Still trying to talk about the same fucking thing? So Pam was like, hold on, hold on, Misha. You you know, you can do better than that. You the queen. Come on now, do better than like, 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 bitch, it's over. Like on top of that, Nivea left just now. Y'all just got into it and you want to keep on going. Like it doesn't make sense. You know, make it make sense. So Misha's just like going for the. She goes outside her hours and she like, yeah, tonight, yeah, they can get some because they got my friend uh, walk out and, you know, she was defending me and I'm tired of the shit. Yeah, it's, it's on, you know, and all this stuff and, and like boasting all up. Her and Irish on the side and they stand. I know they was out there smoking because they was trying to hide. So she like, is the cameras over there by them talking about Kelly and the twins because they was over there talking too about, you know, the whole thing. 
So she like, it's the cameras over there too. She then she go worrying about some shit that ain't got nothing to fucking do. Where uh, can worrying about it, some fucking cameras over there by the twins. It's cameras over there. It's cameras over there, bitch. Why the fuck is you worried about it? Why is you you worry about everything else except for your skin, your body, your hair, your your the way that you sound, the way that you look, everything you worry about everything except for that. So finally, the Felicia just like what the cameras are right here. Like we clearly can see the cameras are right there, bitch. You the one hiding behind of something smoking a cigarette you and iris and then on top of that why are you even smoking cigarettes and you supposed to be singing like you uh, girl and so anyway so they standing there and felicia found like oh my god it's right here the cameras are like right here so i was gonna say um shut the fuck up <laughs> okay girl okay girl <laughs> and misha gonna say oh you can hear us bitch bitch you can hear us I said, girl, ooh, I, I knew goddamn well I couldn't do this shit. Like, I could not do this shit because I've been and went over there, yanked that bitch by that red piece of carpet that she got on her fucking head, girl, and drug this bitch until the day is long, girl. Hell no, bitch. Who the fuck you think you talking? Oh, bitch, you can hear us over there. And they gonna sit up there. And they was like, what? Are you serious? So they started laughing. So Kelly started laughing. So then Misha gonna say, if I hear somebody giggle one more time, I'm coming over there. Like, she's somebody fucking mother, bitch. Oh, 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 oh. I said, ooh, wow. So, Kelly looking all scared. You know, she's trying to fake keep on laughing because, you know, I guess she ain't going to stop laughing just because this bitch told her to stop. She's going to come over that motherfucker. She said, one more time, I'm going to come over there and snatch somebody fucking wig off their head. <laughs> girl, I was waiting, girl. So Misha take her little SpongeBob body looking having ass over there. She like, some of you fucking with the wrong one. Like you fucking with the wrong one. I will snatch you. I was like, bitch, talking all this shit. You done walked your big ass all the way the fuck over there, and you gonna keep bumping your goddamn guns and not even do what you said, girl. Oh my god, them twins. They should have said so. They were just looking at her like she was fucking crazy. They said, "No, go over there. You need to go over there. Go over there now. No, go over there. Like treating her like some little puppy dog or something. Telling her to move. They was not even bothered. So Felicia, y'all, is up in her confession and some of some. Yeah, that's that's right there. That's just not what I do. I'm not into the fighting and everything else, bitch. What what do you mean? You gonna run your goddamn mouth, say all this shit to people, and then you expect not to get into a fight? Like, come on now. Like you gotta be ready if you got all that goddamn. Out. That don't make no fucking sense. Does she run her damn mouth like that? And you think she gonna fuck around and get snatched? Like you cannot be acting the way that Felicia acts and filing. They better be ready to jump somebody or something. Or they better be ready to do something. Cause the way they act, y'all, somebody is gonna snatch their ass. And I thought it was gonna be Nivea. And that's the reason why Nivea left because it was coming too close when she was about to show her whole hand of how she is. So she just left. Nivea was running out the house. Okay, honey. She did not want to get into it with them twins. Cause she would have snatched. I know she would have snatched Fallon. Cause Felicia, she is a bit much. Well, both of them for real. Both of them for real would have got snatched. And I know if it was me, I wouldn't even thought. Like sometimes I don't even think about what's coming out of my mouth. Like I just say it and I be mad later. Or I might just like snatch you in the moment because I'm not going for what the fuck you saying. Like you, if you being disrespectful, like that's just me. So I know I could not be on this show, but it's good to watch. Like it is made for TV, these bitches. Like it's really, really good. Now Misha's talking about she ready to go home. Girl, you just ready to go home? Like why are you fed up now? You know, why do you fucking light a fire and then walk off? That's what the fuck she did. Like, and then on top of that, you expect Felicia and Violet, after all this goddamn time, to turn shit into roses. That's what the fuck you did. Like, they supposed to be getting your shitty voice together and making you sound as if you can sing, like, all of this shit. And then at the end of it, you just gonna walk off? You just gonna say, and then gonna expect for Iris to walk off too. Like, was like, I mean, you can say Irish, but you know, I, I'll tell. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, she went into all of that. So y'all, Kelly meets up with Aaliyah, the choreography, the little cute girl. She can dance so cute. Um, and she's telling her that you know Nivea left, and she's just like, oh no, not Nivea. Like she is so like shocked, 
and can't believe it. she was like i was just talking to her yesterday you know we had good vibes going on you know she was fine what happened she was just like you know something went down in the house and yet she decided to leave so then she starts to tell Aaliyah that you know um irish and misha they might not be staying even because i guess word around the house is that they think they're gonna leave you know they they got plans of leaving and i know y'all Aaliyah is fed up you hear me because she is a part of this whole presentation too this whole thing because you know, she is a choreography and now she has to go back and redo everything and teach this stuff again in a very short amount of time. Like, I just, I was like, dang, that's sad. She was fine about it, but she was just like, wow, okay, this is starting to be a bit much. So Misha's sitting there telling Pam and Shamari that, you know, she wants out. She's about to leave. You know, I, I can't do this. I'm about to leave. And so then she calls Irish who was outside, probably smoking a cigarette, girl, okay? Uh, and I ain't judging people who used to smoke cigarettes, but you on here to sing. You know, I did used to smoke cigarettes, like, not even a year ago. Well, I did quit. In September, it'll be a whole year. So, I know how it is to need a cigarette, especially with the amount of stress in this house. Need a cigarette, go out, and looks as if you're always smoking because you probably are, you know? But, you know, so I'm not judging all the way. I guess I am, but I try not to. Because I've kicked the habit and I'm very proud of myself. But at the end of the day, I, I am judging just a bit more because your voice is supposed to be your money maker. You know what I'm saying? So I know for myself, if that was me and my voice was my chat, I would quit. That's just the fuck it. That, that, I know that about myself. I would quit. And I just don't understand how these bitches already, like I said, can't sing. But the little bit of voice that you do have, you're going to go and dabble in cigarettes and continue to do that. So I just, again, look at them messy for that. So Misha's telling Irish, yeah, she on the phone with Irish. Yeah, I'm thinking about leaving. You know, I'm just thinking about leaving. So Irish comes in the room. Like I said, Pam and Shamari is there. And she's like, um, so Pam, Misha's telling Iris, yeah, and I'm leaving. I'm just out. I can't take no more. And you can say if you want, you know, I'm not judging nobody who wants to leave. That's on you. Like throwing this guilt trip on her. And I was just like, damn, look at Misha once again, all up in somebody else's shit and trying to press this bitch out to stay. Like you ain't even have to say that shit. You could have waited on her to see what she was going to do and leave it at that. I ain't judging her if you want to stay. That's on you. Okay, leave it alone dumb ass Irish takes the fucking bait y'all like what yeah because i need to go ahead and leave because this is my sister and we stick together bitch first of all y'all not really sisters okay let's just get that shit the fuck out the way y'all not really sisters okay then second of all bitch i thought and really first of all you said when you came on here that you was doing this for your son. You said that when you was in 702, you had gave, made so much money and gave all your money, a lot of your money to everybody else. And you basically didn't got shit to show for it. So now you're here, like you said, in the house, trying to do the super group with the ladies to make sure that your son has something to go off of later on in life. And now you just going to toss it up in the air because this bitch is not satisfied. Like, I was just like, damn. I thought Irish was a little stronger than that, but not really because she be in the confessionals, like trying to fake be shady towards people, giving these like dumb ass shades is not even funny. Like talking about somebody weak. How you gonna sit up there talking about somebody's shit and yours look fucked up? So I was just like, okay, she throws me for a loop. She appears to be strong, but she's not, you know? And then when she followed Misha out the house like that, bitch, I mean, I know we cool and everything and we grew up together and everything, but... I got to do this for me and mine. Like, and me and mine is my household. So I just was not fucking with what Irish did. And I just, to me, it, it was worse than Misha. Like, you leave it off the strength of another bitch. Yeah, you, you, you not okay with everything that's going in the house you're fed up too and everything but it just didn't seem genuine because even carlos king when he went in the room he took irish and misha in the room and he asked him you know is this what y'all want to do and um misha was like yeah i want she spoke up she was like yeah I, i'm ready to leave i'm ready to go i just can't take no more and he turned to irish and asked him, you know are you ready this this what you want to do and she was like yeah um if my sister she didn't even say yeah she was like my sister's ready to go so i am too Bitch, uh, are you serious? So you're not going to get a check and you're not going to show the world what you can do and you're not going to continue something on and not quit because of what you'll... Y'all, call me a whole nother bitch, but I know if I showed up at home and I told my husband, yeah, because such and such a day, she wanted to leave and so I was a little bit fed up too, you know, so I just went on and laughed. My husband be like, what you... Baby, you stronger than that. Did you really... Like, and... I, that's crazy. Like, I just don't understand why I just did that on the strength of not even just being a follower, on the strength of the fact that 
you said in the beginning you were there for your son. Like, so I really don't understand, like, why you couldn't keep going on. Literally, I, I just heard there's only one more episode of this. And that's the goddamn presentation. So, like, this shit, it just don't make sense why anybody left to me. But I'm not in the house. And I don't really know what everybody feels because it is different when you're looking at something it's different when you can feel something that's two different things so that's probably the part that i'm not getting but fuck that for mine i'm gonna sit and ride the shit out i probably wouldn't even be able to ride the shit out y'all i'm gonna tell y'all off the break i already know because i wouldn't be able to take this shit in this house like i would have been snatched some fucking body i don't understand how nivia can sit back and she was real quiet a lot of the time not saying shit i don't like what who is she talking you know, everybody, Pam, don't be saying stuff at certain times. Shamari, don't be saying stuff at certain times. Just like when um, Fallon and Felicia was sitting there and they was making up excuses right after Misha and Irish left. Fallon was saying, yeah, I just think that they left. They were upset because they saw Nivea leave. You know, it was just a domino effect, you know, after that. And they just felt like they needed to leave because they had high emotions. Yeah, bitch, high emotions off of y'all. How about the fact that they was mad because y'all kept acting like they was the weakest link and actually said it. Like, there's a certain way you should do shit. But I don't know how I would have handled it if Misha kept saying in the moment, well, I only had one verse. I only had this. I probably went like, bitch, why do you keep saying that? That's all we can get because this song is this amount of time. This person, this person, I would have sugarcoated. This person, this person, this person's on it. So this is all we have for you. On top of that, like, like what, like I did hear Coco and Carlos King had a um, like a, a podcast or something going on. A lot, they had a lot, and Coco was basically saying because she was like, look, I think that people just need to know their strengths, like. And that just made me think, like, exactly. Why don't Misha know her strength? Say, you know what? Inside, I know what I can and I cannot do. Let me pump my brakes. I said this before. Let me pump my brakes. You know what I'm saying? But just, like, stay in your lane. You know what I'm saying? Like, get it where you fit in. And don't be so pressed to be all boisterous when you have nothing to give. You know? And I think that's what Coco was saying. Like, know your strength. Then once you know your strength, you can give where you need to give. But it's really what nowhere for her to give. Okay, girl. So Shamari is sitting there talking to Felicia and Fallon and Pam. And she's like, you know, she really hates that people decided to leave because everybody's been working really hard. And so now Felicia's like, you know, now they got to reset everybody's vocals and like recut everybody's vocals. And they only got five days. So they trying to figure out, you know, what they're going to do. Misha and Irish, y'all, okay, they are leaving. And I want to read this to y'all. So Misha and Iris are packing to leave, y'all, okay? And Misha says, I decided to go and Irish is coming with me. <laughs> we may not see eye to eye all the time, but that is my sister. And no matter what, we're always going to be tame. <laughs> really? First, so you telling me you don't even see eye to eye with this girl? And you got the audacity to get, girl, if me and this bitch had even 1% of a beef. You hear me? Really? Is that how you feel? Okay, girl. Moving on. Felicia and Irish, um, they come down to the ladies. It's Felicia, Fallon, Pam, and Shamari. The four. The final four. We won't call them the final four, y'all. So, Misha and Iris comes down, and they want to say bye to the final four. So, Pam and Misha are talking. Misha's like, look, I can't, just can't take anymore. It's not good for my mental. It's just not good for me. I need to go. Like, I can't take anymore. So, Pam is in her confessional. Tell me, I respect it. You know, that's how you feel. You know, you really need to leave because it's weighing on your mental. I can respect that because I was in total, and nobody understood when I wanted to leave, and it was affecting my mental, so I totally get Misha. So, because Misha's mental is becoming an issue, yes, she needs to leave. Hey, y'all i was surprised i was really surprised that felicia gave irish a hug like i was like wow okay that's really big of you and felicia's like look i didn't want y'all to leave without you know me saying bye i didn't want y'all to leave like this and um irish is like no you know it's okay i was just just like no i hope it works out for y'all i really hope it works out for y'all and patting her on the back and they hugging and then i was shocked to see felicia tell her i'm sorry like, you can literally see her come out the mouth, I'm sorry. And we didn't really get to see her response, like her face, the camera didn't show her face. So she just yeah, went on over to Fallon and Fallon gave her a hug, a really big hug. And Fallon actually broke down and was crying, you know, and holding her really extremely tight, you know. And I think that the girls are going to miss Irish because in the beginning and like up until like probably a couple days before, Irish, you know, was rocking with everybody. And she was listening, trying to be, you know, inclusive and everything. And she knew her place, you know. 
But um, Misha, I think Misha got to her and pumped her up and just really got into her head. And then, you know, it was the demise of Irish. That's what I think. Felicia gives Misha a hug and Misha hugs her back. Wow. Kumbaya. I was like, oh, okay, this is something to see. Like, because if it was me and I felt as strong as Misha felt, I wouldn't hug the bitch. I'm going to tell you that right now. Like, I'd have been like... I, you know, and if I was Felicia, I think that Carlos King, whoever the producer, and everything, told them to come downstairs as they were leaving. Felicia and Fallon to come downstairs as they was leaving. Because if it was me, I'd have been like, kudos, bitch. Like, we don't get along. It's nothing for me to talk about. And, and I'm not about to sit here and be cuckooing and crying and all this kumbaya with, with nobody. But they went on and did it. I said, oh, that's good. You know. I'm just not a good sport like that. And, bitch, if we beefing, it's over. I'm done. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. And it's over. But I think that Fallon and Felicia had a lot of guilt with them, as should be, because they did do too much. You know, sometimes you have got to bite your tongue and not say certain things and be nice about it. And on top of that, y'all, I might seem like a bitch, but I'm not. Like, I hold my tongue a lot until I say exactly what I need to say in a fucked up way. Like, I am a really nice person and I take a lot, you know? And then once I feel like I took a lot and too much and I feel like now the person is taking my kindness for weakness and the person is stepping on my toes and being totally disrespectful, that's when I curk. And it's not an in-between. It's no in-between. It's like black or white and you're not going to get through to me. And yeah, it's, I'm, I get on 1,000. That's just how it is. And I think the twins, they really don't have no in-between at all. Like, I think that they don't let anybody say anything to them, talk that side of their neck. Like, I do. I, I'll give you a couple chances. I will. I will give you a couple chances. But when I see that you continue to do the same shit and, and act the same way towards me, like, I, I just can't take no more. But I think that Felicia and Fallon, they don't have that. I think they say exactly what the fuck they mean out their mouth right then and there. It comes all fucked up. And then also, Felicia be having her eyes looking like this when she talking to you. I think their mother treated them like that or something. Like, because both of them act like some, like, old ass women with grandkids or something like they just act like some old ass bitter bitches and i hope that they learn from this show because but i don't think they did because i have been watching um lives that felicia and fallon have and they still y'all they making up excuses they saying that you know it's just a lot of the editing went was wrong and, and then the show didn't show what other girls did and said and, and, and um it's just not them who they tried to portray I understand all that, but like I said in one of my other videos, bitch, nobody can take away the fact, not even you, that you said the shit on camera, that you said it. Just like when Iris was up there singing, and it was the very first episode, when Iris was singing, and Felicia came in and was like, look, sing the song like this, and her eyeballs was popping out her head, and she was like kind of giving her the shit, and I'm just like, damn, hold on, you can calm down a little bit, but bitch, if you keep doing the shit, we got a motherfucking problem, and that's where they wrong, they should have never kept going on with the shit, they should have said that piece from the beginning, and kept it moving, but if you keep on taking, taking, taking from somebody, they're going to continue to do it, and that's what these twins did, they continue to be bullies to people in this house, they continue to deny every wrong that they've done and then after they're wrong they run up to somebody run, trying to apologize and the person takes the shit and then they do it again it's just like you having a boyfriend that whoops your ass and then next thing because i had one of them too girl whoop my ass and next thing you know i'm up there crying with a goddamn black eye and then he coming in telling myself oh i'm sorry yeah uh, uh we're going to hawaii in two months yeah you you okay i'm sorry we we, we gonna go out of the states we gonna have some fun if they get what I do, and that, this is the shit that they keep doing. They continue to do the shit. So it's annoying, and I think everybody got hip to it, and after a while, everybody just wasn't having it. That's just it. Felicia is in her confessional, and she's just like, it was a very hard night for me. I didn't know um, it would be this hard. Misha and Irish, I love you both. I can't say I can't say I understand why that happened. I'm guilty of arguing and fighting. I just hate that it happened that way. So again, they're not taking no responsibility. So the final four are sitting in the living room, and Felicia asks Pam, um, "Why do you think they left? Oh, dumb! Like what? Are you expecting her to really like tell you? Because Pam ain't gonna tell you. She's gonna beat around the bush." Okay, then you got Shamari in the back. You know what I'm saying? She ain't gonna say shit. She gonna be the right brother. And Fallon was saying, oh yeah, it was just a domino effect because Nivea left and she, they just felt like they, they needed to leave because of high emotions at the house and all this stuff. What? 
And they sitting there feeding these bitches a pack of lies. You know what I'm saying? A whole pack of bullshit and ass lies. And they not even speaking up there. So they, why did they like, then Pam, I couldn't even understand what the fuck she was saying. Oh, people work really hard. And, you know, um, people just want fairness. Say what the fuck it is. Like, why is it so hard for people to just say it? Be like, look, I think y'all just kind of went overboard with Misha and Iris. I think that y'all could have toned it down a little bit in y'all delivery. I think that, you know, Sometimes y'all a little bit overbearing and the person can feel bullied, you know, and do y'all understand that? And maybe try to get some dialogue back that will help you to understand them. They can understand you and something. But sitting there saying the shit that Payne was saying, I don't even know what Payne was saying, but she wasn't saying what the fuck Felicia needed to hear. And, and what Felicia needed to hear was, bitch, you be doing too much and you need to shut the fuck up because you don't know it all. That's what the fuck need to be said. But Shamari is in the damn kitchen. She getting everything out the cabinet. She moving around. The you know, she not even paying attention. You know, they just give it I guess maybe I'm wrong because this is where I'm always saying it's some shit. I guess Pam and Shamari, this is where they're being an adult and I, you know, probably would have thought about it later because <laughs> I would have said something to these bitches then back in the day when we first got there, you hear me? But where Shamari and Pam is coming from is this. People who act like, not even just Felicia and Fallon, people who are so hardcore and set on you know, their way and how they need to do stuff. And they always got a problem with this, problem with that. People like that, you just need to like sit back and let them do them, you know? And it's not much that you need to say. It's not much that you need to try to give them for them to understand, honey, because they're never going to get it, you know? And yeah, I think Pam and Shamari just like done. They don't even have nothing to say. They still like trying to give them something because they ask the question, do you, what's wrong? Do you think that they left because of us? But they really not trying to even get into it because at the end of the day, bitch, you're not going to change. And I already know that. So it's no sense in me losing my voice. And I had to learn this later on in life, y'all, that this is why I don't need to speak up and say something every time because people don't change. They just don't. They the same motherfuckers that they were when you was dealing with they crazy ass and they never change. So yeah, I think this is what Shamari and Pam is doing. So kudos to y'all, girl. Okay, so y'all had to refix my phone, so this is a different angle. So yeah, this is what it is. Felicia and Fallon have gone into Kelly's room. So they are trying to finesse Kaylee real quick to like get back in the group, you know, because they need some more people, you know? And so Kaylee's just like, oh no, now I don't know about that. It's, I don't know that everybody's going to say this is what I wanted from the beginning. And you know, it's just not going to be a good look for me. And Fallon and Felicia's just like, no. Fallon's like, no, everybody's going to think that you are, you know, a stand up person for getting in the group and making sure everything, you know, goes well. Fallon's like, look, it's not really about the way that it looks girl okay it's about what we gotta do okay girl so we need to get this business handled we need to finish this production because yeah we need another bitch and you need to come on because we need to do the damn thing and kelly she's not really feeling it kelly is just like mm, i don't know i'm i don't really know and I really understand where Kelly is coming from because, yeah, I just, I wouldn't do it either. You know, she, at the end of the um, episode, she had called her husband and she told her husband, she was like, oh, they trying to make me be in a group again. And I just, I just really don't want to. And her husband was like, look, don't make them do nothing you don't want to do. You already know it's a lot of stuff that comes with that shit. And yeah, make sure you stand up for yourself. And no, you don't have to be in no group. Make sure that they know that. Don't do it if you don't want to, you know? And then on top of that, the ridicule that you still getting from the chicken buck and throwing shit you know like why would you want to get into all that and i understand where kelly's coming from she just like over the whole little girl group shit and the thing about getting together with bitches and making something work it just it just seems like it's just something that i wouldn't do it just seems messy then you got to learn choreography she would be really good with choreography y'all i do know that because kelly kills it you know what I'm saying? Kelly can really, really dance. So I just really do think that she would be a wonderful addition because of that. But Kelly can't sing either. So, but they can work it out. You know what I'm saying? It can be worked out. And I believe that Kelly should just go ahead and join the group. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't do it if I was her. So I can't say that, Kelly girl. So they're getting um their wardrobe together, you know, and they're just not feeling, you know, what's going on as far as the wardrobe. You know, they can't come together as a cohesive group and look the way that they want. You know, Pam, the guy's asking her, do you want to wear a robe or um, do you want to wear um a turtleneck? Because, you know, she has the God song and everything. And she's like, nah, what? I want to look dope. You know, like, I want, I'm like, right, Pam, like, do you even know who Pam is? Pam 
try to look fly. You know what I'm saying? I already know. It might be like tomboyish fly, but it's going to look fly. It's going to be a vibe. You know what I'm saying? And then so Shamari's like, you know, I don't really care, but, you know, something fitting, something that I can move in, and something maybe tomboyish. That's what she said. Then the twins was like, okay, well, we'll do heels. They was like, well, heels we can perform in, you know? And he was like, okay, yeah, well, performance heels. We got that. We can do that. But then they put these outfits on that didn't look right. Shamari had an outfit that was just like, this shirt was cute. It looked really good on her. Like, she has a really nice shape. Looks like she takes really good care of herself. Um, it was like a really low V cut all the way down to the stomach. And it was like, looked like a heavy, um, uh, uh, chain type of silver material. And it like, she looked really good, but she was just like, she got to do a lot of arm movements and she don't want her titty popping out, girl. Okay, honey, like Janet Jackson, honey. And she wasn't feeling that. And then I was like, too, like, is Ronnie going to say something? But I know you can't worry about that stuff sometimes. You just got to do what you got to do. So then who else? Um, Felicia had on this like leotard type of thing. You know how Beyonce would wear like a leotard, a mesh shirt underneath and like these, uh, uh, what is it, like straps that came on. She looked cute. You know, she started like popping and everything. She looked cute, but she wasn't feeling it. And then she was just like, look, I don't care what we wear. I will wear whatever the group needs to wear, but can we decide on something? Getting all, you know, boastful again. And it was just like, bitch, calm the fuck down. Did you not see what we just went through? Like it was just too much. I was just like, damn, here she go again. So next thing you know, um, she told me something. Oh yeah, look at me. Some old Felicia and Fowler. Felicia gonna say, Oh, look at us. We look like um uh Shamari looked like Beyonce and we look like her backup singers. I was like, okay, honey. It, it wasn't to that level, you know what I'm saying? I think Felicia looked really cute to me. To me, she looked better than Shamari. Shamari looked cute, but it, I mean Felicia, she looked fly like my type of fly. And she she looked cute. That's what I thought. So um Cosign pops up. They in the studio. Cosign pops up in the studio. So they doing Kumbaya. Did you get the flowers in? Really doing nice. I'm so glad that we working together. I'm going to make sure that y'all um get in front of the world. Y'all look good. I'm riding for y'all, you know, to the finish line. He's saying all this stuff to them. And they're vibing. So then they start to play the song, um, Felicia's Virgin. And so he like, no, we're not going to play that one. And again, she like, okay, damn, you stepping on my toes again. Like, and then on top of that, Pam was like, mm, they played the version. She was like, Pam was like, mm, I like the old version first, which is Felicia's Virgin. You know, once again, everybody agreeing that Felicia's version sound better. You know, no digs the cosign, but it is what it is. We want to go with this one. So Felicia's just like, done. she walks out. She goes upstairs, tells her sister, um, yeah, he up there disrespecting me again, but if I was a male, saying all the shit that she was saying last time, if I was a male, then he wouldn't be doing it like that. He would he would have more respect for me. He wouldn't just do that. So Fallon seems as if she learned something. So Fallon's like, well, why don't you go have a conversation with him? Okay, bitch, like an adult standing and yelling at a motherfucker as if they were a child. Like, damn, now Fallon seems like she's getting it. So Felicia said, okay, yeah. So she pulls cosign to the side. So she like, look, why do you keep disrespecting me? All I ask you to do is respect me. She's like, you acting like my demo. Cause he was like, that was the demo that we were using. That's why she was like, no, the demo was the one that we using. Yours is not. And why can't you just respect me? So, so he, you know, realizes that, you know, he's wrong and everything and that he needs to start listening to what she's saying. But the bottom line is y'all, everybody likes Felicia's version and they just need to go with that version. I don't know why cosign i guess because he came in as a producer so it would look wrong that they keep going with felicia saying but it is what it is and just like business goes we need to do what's best for everybody and for that's what sentiment said you know the vocal code that's what we need to do it needs to be good for everybody and everybody agrees that felicia's version is best so yeah y'all this uh, episode was really good. But yeah, y'all, just like I mentioned, they have Nivea um, in a Zoom or some type of Skype meeting or something that we're going to see her again. So I'm excited about that next episode. And I think next episode is the last episode, y'all. So yeah, y'all, this is the end of this video. And yeah, thank y'all for tuning in and watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share my video, honey. Okay, girl. See y'all later. Bye.